Hey, it's Renee. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I have accomplished something that I have been trying to accomplish for a long time. And that is I look fucking cute right now. Like, do you see this makeup? How have I done this? It's, it's one of those days where you go to do something that you always do, but you get an, an idea in your head and you're like, oh, this might work and this might look cute, but maybe not. And it's either going to go horribly bad or you surprise yourself and it looks way better than you expected. And that is what happened today. My makeup is so cute. Like what? How did I do this? How? I didn't know I was capable, but here I am and I look adorable. Yes, can we all agree on that? Cause I feel pretty damn cute right now. <laughs> you might not care, but I care. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm feeling very good about myself right now. Um, and I'm very excited because today I am starting the other show. I told you guys that I would be reacting to two shows at a time. And today I'm starting the other one. And in order to decide what show to watch, I actually put a poll on my community tab. Uh, and I do that from time to time. Um, so you guys voted. The poll was between The Queen's Gambit, which is obviously the new Netflix show that everyone is talking about, and also Death Note and the Queen's Gambit won, but don't worry, if you voted for Death Note, I will still be reacting to that. I'm just going to do the Queen's Gambit first, and then once I'm done, I will head right into Death Note afterwards. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be going back and forth so that there's a little bit of variety on my channel and also a little bit of variety for me when watching the shows. So um, this will be posted, and then after this, um, it will be Stranger Things episode 3 and 4, which I actually already filmed before this one. And then after that, it will be Queen's Gambit episode uh, 3 and 4. Yes. And then it will go back to Stranger Things and then Queen's Gambit. So every, every other upload will be the other show. And that's, like I said, just to create some variety so I'm not uploading the exact same thing all the time. I will try to do movie reactions too, but that will be fewer and further between because that's like extra now and I, I'm gonna be so busy with everything so um, I will try but we'll see how that goes <laughs> um, and then once I'm finished with Queen's Gambit like I said I'm going to do Death Note and then I think that it will be Death Note and Stranger Things for a while because I think Stranger Things has three seasons but you guys and one of you guys said that a new season is going to be posted so Stranger Things is gonna last for a while um, Death Note is probably gonna end first and then, so once that's done, I will put another poll in my community tab with the shows that I'm thinking about watching next for you guys to vote again. So when I get close to the ending of Death Note, and as well with Stranger Things, but that's going to be pretty far in the future, but once I get close to the ending of Death Note, go to my community tab um, because there will be another poll there for um, the reaction for the next show I'm going to do. And I'm just going to keep doing shows that you guys vote for and that you want to see the most, um, along with movie reactions here and there um, whenever I can get those out too. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just get into this video, shall we? Oh, by the way, I've got three pillows behind me right now. I have been having body pain for literally since like, not the beginning, but like kind of the middle of last year, but towards the beginning of the year, like in that area. I've been having horrible, horrible body pain, and thus I have decided to try and fix my posture with putting a million pillows behind me on this chair. <laughs> so that's what that is. Anyways, let's get into this. I am very curious because I literally know nothing. I don't know what I'm about to watch. I just know that chess is involved. That's it. Also, the main actress is a ginger. I am a ginger. I already feel a connection here. <laughs> And I am very excited. I might title this something really stupid like Ginger Reacts to <laughs> The Queen's Gambit for the first time. You know, something like that. <laughs> Mademoiselle. I'm coming. Okay. Oh, oh boy, you all right there. Okay, um, I don't know French. <laughs> so... Uh, no, uh, well, okay. <sighs> Hopefully there's not a ton of French, because I don't know French. Listen, I may be Canadian, but pff, I sucked at it in school. I know nothing. <laughs> Hello, fellow ginger. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh, why are both shows I'm reacting to right now set in the 1900s? What's happening? How, how did this, this just happened? All right. 
her hair is like the hair I tried to do that I could not achieve. <laughs> what did she just take? What was that? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't played chess in a very long time, so <laughs> I may not be able to follow this very well. I'll try. <laughs> Hello, younger version of yourself. What are we supposed to do with her? It's hardly a scratch on her. It's a goddamn okay. miracle. I doubt she'll see it that way. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay. So, I'm assuming her parents are gone and she's by herself an orphan now? Your mother's passed on. You know what that means, don't you? Passed on. Orphaned by yesterday's collision on New Circle Road, Elizabeth, nine years old, was left without family by the crash. Oh, that's so sad. Alice Harmon was pronounced dead at the scene. <laughs> like this, this, exactly the same bangs. And the father? Doesn't say. Hmm. Let's welcome her, shall we? Is this an orphanage, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. This is our chapel. How do you do, Elizabeth? I also teach etiquette to the young ladies. Great. <laughs> etiquette. We're all a bunch of fucking fuckers. It's so clear that, that the etiquette teaching is working so well. Home sweet home. Oh. We have twins. That sucks. Here. <laughs> all in the same room. Oh. And here is your special place. I would never be able to sleep. Oh. Great, so special, right next to the bathroom, love that. Elizabeth, you're going to find Beth. a much different life. Did her family call her Beth? Oh. So she's had that short since hmm. everything happened. I think we'll burn this one. Burn it? Why? Why can't she keep it? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. What do they do? What do the pills do? The green ones are the best. What are they? Vitamins. Magic vitamins. <laughs> Great. I say the green ones up for the nighttime, otherwise they turn off right when you need them to turn off. If you know what I mean. I don't. <laughs> Beth. Jolene. Your mama and daddy did. Oh boy. Blunt. What's the last thing they said to you before they died? Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Close your eyes. I don't remember. Someday you might. If you do, you let me know. That is such a weird conversation to have with an actual stranger. <laughs> like, again, really seeing those etiquette classes at work here. <laughs> Take them both. Oh, ew, really? Both at the same time? I don't know about y'all, but I hate swallowing pills that are especially bigger ones because it, you can feel it almost in your throat even after you swallowed it. And the thought of taking them both at the same time, literally, no. I hate that. I hate it. <laughs> it's such a weird thing, but like, sometimes when I'm sick too and I have a sore throat, I literally can't take pills. Like NyQuil, can't. I, I try and I just can't. It won't happen. <laughs> what is in that? That's crazy. I thought I told you to wait and take those vitamins at bedtime. You gotta eat every bite. Oh, they'll tell Mrs. Deardorff about you and you won't get adopted. Wow. <laughs> I would not eat any of that. I am too picky. Oh, ugh. <laughs> Alice, come on. Open the door. It's taken me a whole month to find you. You're not taking care of yourself. Weird. Isn't it beautiful? Talk to Lizzie. Make sure she's okay. She's happy here. This is where she belongs. You honestly believe our daughter belongs in a trailer? Dad, and she doesn't Alice. like being called Lizzie. Okay. That's meaningful somehow. All right, Alice. 
Alice. I don't like any of this. Once I drive away, I'm not coming back. Okay, so that's what happened to her dad. He just decided to leave. But he... I, w I was thinking it would be like one of those... He just like was an asshole and dipped kind of things. But no, he was trying to be involved and the mom didn't let him, which is interesting. Miss Harmon. Okay, so that is their last name. So was that book... Like, was that something her mom wrote? A yeah, Alice Harmon, PhD. So it's probably something her mom wrote back when she had gotten her PhD and was like, felt smart and living a great life. And then something happened that spiraled things out of control. Okay. Why don't you take the erasers down to the basement and clean them? Well, that's not creepy at all. Oh, is he playing chess? Is this how she learns how to play chess? Yeah. He's playing by himself. <laughs> That's the surefire way to make sure that you win. That is not fair. She got here after you. Most of us are like us. Nobody's gonna come for us now. We're too old. Oh, that's so sad. Not too bad. But like, oh, but like, real quick, people who do adopt to like teenagers, you are wonderful human beings. Yeah, I just wouldn't take the pills at all. I would just put them in her mouth and then not take them. Because I'm wondering maybe if she's still taking them now because she's, like, addicted. And if she would to stop, it would be, like, really difficult to stop taking them, maybe. Bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves. What a bop. What do you want, child? You should be in the chapel. What's that game called? It's called chess. Will you teach me? I don't play, strangers. Wouldn't it be more fun to play with someone else? <laughs> how? She's gonna somehow teach herself how to play a game she's never seen? There's like specific rules for how the pieces move that she wouldn't know about. <laughs> she didn't even know what it was called. How would she learn how to play it if she didn't know, like, this can only move to this place and this one can only move, like, diagonally and all that stuff? How many take? I don't know. Sometimes I skip a day, then take two or three. I like the way it feels. You just I be don't careful. You don't get too used to that feeling. The drugs. I don't understand drugs. <laughs> I don't know how this stuff works. I'm not a stranger. I live here. I already know some of it from watching. Girls do oh, not okay. play chess. Oh, okay. Oh, Piss off. <laughs> that one moves up and down or back and forth. Okay, okay, I get it. I see. That tall one can go any way it wants. And this one? On the diagonals. She picked that up fast. Let's play a game. <laughs> Yay! Imagine she beats him for her first time ever playing. <laughs> What's called the scholar's mate? How'd you do it? Not today. Uh um. I would, I would not. I would, I would pace yourself. No, n no, uh, how is she not gonna have an overdose? Let's go is she gonna have an overdose? Mate. Ah! <laughs> Avalanche! <laughs> I don't know how drugs work. So is it, is it making it so that she can play the game well? So that maybe that's why she's still taking them? Is because that's how she's able to play so well and like, but like, I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. But this is very cool, I love how this looks. Like this is cooler than any dreams or daydreams that kids actually have. <laughs> how can she just leave and like no one notices or cares? You resign now. When you lose the queen that way, you resign. You didn't tell me that in the rules. It's not a rule, it's sportsmanship. You've gotta finish. No, the game is over. You got 
get out. <gasps> Dang. Check. Who is that? What, what, what? I don't know. <laughs> Jolene, I want to know what a c is. <laughs> oh boy. It's who boys have. The picture in the back of the health book. Uh, which is why we should be drinking several glasses of water a day. Nature's wonderful lubricant. <laughs> Nature's wonderful lubricant. What a quote. <laughs> Oh, she's closing in on him, backing him into a corner. Is she gonna win? <gasps> You're gloating. I'm not. She didn't even say anything. She won. Yes! What's KB3? King's Bishop 3, where I just put the knight. The squares have names? If you play well, they have names. Y'all, the only information I'm going off of for the chess game is the Try Guys video where Kurt, whatever his last name is, played against all of them blindfolded and it was ridiculous and super cool. <laughs> so you're a chess master. Do you think you could beat any of us at chess? I do. There are other strategies you'll need to learn down the road. Mom, I started my first period. Oh boy. <laughs> Those things are called openings. Is that one of them? Yes. The Queen's Gambit. Hey! Tile drop. <laughs> Modern chess openings. Oh, it's a book about it. It's the best book for you. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Dang. I'll tell you the truth of it, child. You're astounding. <laughs> She's a natural. This is Mr. Gans from the chess club. I'm also coach of the high school team. Would you like to play me a game? Cool, okay. That's made in three. Well, you certainly know the game, young lady. So, where do you play? Down here. Play in my head. In your head? On the ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> On the ceiling. Yep. You know how you do. <laughs> I brought you a present. <laughs> Should have gotten her her own chess game. Not a doll. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is like the Try Guys video. Just playing two people at once. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, can she do it blindfolded? <laughs> That's the true question. <laughs> I've moved my queen to rook four. The bishop blocks. Literally, this is the Try Guys video. <laughs> this this was not out when they did that, was it? I don't I don't think so. I don't know when this came out though, so maybe I'm wrong. Let me let me let me let's take a quick look. Oh, it did come after a couple days after. So maybe they they were inspired by the show actually, because I'm like this is this is uncannily similar. <laughs> then again, they would have filmed. Well, how long does it take to edit one of those videos? <laughs> I don't know. Queen takes king's pawn. Castles. Castles. I kind of know what that is, kind of, but not really, but kinda, because <laughs> it was in the video. It's literally my only understanding of chess is from that video. <laughs> and it's made next. Impressive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why wouldn't he get her a chess game for herself? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> he would like you to be taken to the high school on, on, Thursday. on Thursday. He would like you to perform for the chess club. There's one missing. Where are the green ones? You don't get them anymore. There they are. I know where they are, Harmon, but I'm not gonna give you any. New state law. No more tranquilizers for kids. Tranquilizers? Oh, girl. They got the whole state after them for what they've been doing with those pills. Mm. They're still there in the big jar. You haven't withdrawn symptoms. I don't know. What are those? I don't know. You getting edgy? Yeah, you are. Oh no. Wait. Good luck. Okay. I was about to say, like, she's probably gonna, if she doesn't have it, she's probably not gonna win, but now she has some 
Great, because I guess, I don't know how this works, but I guess it, like, makes her so she can focus better or something. And, I mean, I don't think she would play well while withdrawing either, so. Uh, okay. Charles Levy will take board number one since he's our top player. There will be no talking during play. That is so intimidating. Dang, she's nine years old. <laughs> Do I start now? With board number one. I have a question. How come some of them are white and some of them what are like brown? Me was how bad they played. <laughs> backward palms all over the place. Wow. <laughs> well, everyone's coming to watch. <laughs> Look at her using her foot to like see the next move. This boy, Charles Levy, he was supposed to be the best. I had his pieces tied up in 15 moves. I made it in with six more with a night rook combination. Man, how come chess is so cool? <laughs> it felt good. I've never won anything before. She's gonna break in there somehow. Oh, does he have a key to that room? Oh no, he has tools. Jesus, renounce him so all can hear. Oh, these videos are just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Bathroom. Hurry up. That's smart. I mean, obviously she's smart. It's so like, of course that's smart. But most people would probably just think about trying to get the lock off. But she's taking off the hinge. Into your kingdom! <laughs> Brilliant. Love that. <laughs> So what's the plan? Go in, grab that huge ass thing of pills, or just like a handful probably, because they would notice if the whole thing's gone. Go in, grab a bunch, go back out. I feel like she's taking too long. Someone's gonna notice, right? What? I thought she was gonna put a bunch in her pockets. She's gonna have an overdose. Okay, she, now she is, but that was a lot. How is she not? She's got to have an overdose from that, right? Go and discuss what we've learned. Oh, is she going to get caught? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's episode one. <laughs> okay. A couple things before we hop into the next one. I'm sorry for not knowing anything about drugs and being very confused as to how they work and what's happening. What can I say? I don't know anything about it. Um, <laughs> um, but that, her having an overdose, at that point, that made sense. <laughs> I wonder where this is going because she played all of those guys in the high school. Is, like, what opportunity is that going to lead to, I'm wondering, for her. But then she had an overdose. So like what like they're gonna punish her for that I'm sure somehow. So maybe she would have gotten an opportunity if that didn't happen. But now that she did that, it's gonna end up being taken away from her or something. I don't know. I'm also I'm wondering when we're gonna go back to the adult version of her because that's how we started. But the rest of the episode was flashback. So I'm wondering when we're gonna go back to that and like what that storyline is gonna be like. Um, but, that being said, the best way to find out is to keep going, so let's get into episode two. You should have seen yourself. Felt funny. What you gonna do at night? I'm gonna stay awake as long as I can, reading my book, learning the Sicilian defense. There's 57 pages about it in the book, with 170 lines stemming from P to QB4. I'm gonna memorize them and play through them all in my mind. Poor man. Dang. <laughs> Well, I'm glad she's okay. Of course she's okay, but like, still, dang. <laughs> they won't let me play anymore. I'm being punished. Can you help me? I wish I could play more with you. Morning, Kraken. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, they're older and Oh. How did I not notice that right away? <laughs> All right, so we're in the future, but not as far in the future as we were at the beginning. Wonder who they're here for. Are they here for her? 
I'm assuming. I'm told, Elizabeth, that you turned 13 just last month. Actually, I'm 15. Yes, that's right. I'm 13. Such a wonderful age. What? Wait, she's supposed to lie about her age forever? <laughs> she's 15. What? You should go back. So she's being adopted. I can't find my book. Which book we talking about? You read like a hundred of them. Modern chess openings. Anyway, you don't need no book. Tell them you're grateful to be in a Christian home like this. Maybe they'll put a TV in your room. Jolene, I'm sorry, but you didn't get adopted. I make out just fine right here. I feel like you can you can kind of tell that she's obviously upset about it though. She acts tough, but she is upset that she um, hasn't been adopted. We're so glad to have an older child. I don't... I'm not getting good vibes from him. I don't like him. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about either of them. <laughs> oh, that wallpaper. <laughs> wow. This is the master bedroom. God, the wallpaper. <laughs> is this what all houses looked like back then? This is you. Oh, God. <laughs> ew. Sorry, but ew. This is all mine. Of course it's all yours. Of course it's great for her, but for me, I'm just saying my personal taste, ew. <laughs> too much pink. Too many, too many frills. Why can't they send someone else? It's only for two weeks. I've only been home for two days. Do you have to take the car? How am I supposed to get around without a car? I don't know. You could rent one. You're a terrible driver anyway. <laughs> all right. Really don't like him. Pretty. Where did Mr. Wheatley go? Business trip. Poor man has to travel quite a bit these days. Keeps the roof over our heads. But it doesn't make you happy, that's for sure. I'd always had it in my mind to one day play in an orchestra. As luck would have it, I've also always suffered from a terrible case of stage fright. Hmm. <laughs> Same. I used to play piano, though. I used to do recitals when I was a kid. You have a child? We did, yes. Hmm. Are you hungry? We have a leftover casserole. Always casserole? <laughs> So is this her first day in an, in an actual school other than when she went to that chess thing? Oh, really? A binomial is a mathematical expression containing two terms. Very good. Four. Another fucking brain. Oh my gosh, as if being smart is a bad thing. I sense jealousy. Is there a school chess club? I don't think they have anything like that. Darn. Why don't you freshen up and I will start dinner? Take a beer. There's any left. Didn't she ever change clothes? I don't think he likes me very much. I don't think he likes anybody very much. Adopting you was actually his idea. He's right, though. You could use some new clothes. Honestly, kind of love that. Man, I love old fashioned. They have chess sets. <gasps> Get her a chess set. Get her a chess set. Well. Don't you look lovely. Are you gonna look at the chess sets? Please, get her a chess set. Another time, dear. I'm going to start giving you 40 cents a week allowance. Save up and buy yourself a chess set. I mean, true, she can do that. Do you have any books on chess? There might be an old biography on Jose Capablanca. Who? <laughs> Same. He was a grandmaster. What's a grandmaster? A genius player. Ah, <gasps> she can become a genius player grandmaster. No, just leave. That's weird. Girl, come on. I see you, Hyman. It's those shoes. Did you get them at Ben Snyder's or something? I wouldn't be caught dead in Ben Snyder's. Is there a chess board? Chess, chess review. Oh, I see. Oh, a challenge. Oh, I see. This is when she first finds out about the tournaments. Okay. Young lady, you have to buy the magazine or put it back. I feel like I recognize that dude, but I'm not gonna look it up. If you can't decide, get the medal. <laughs> no, normally I would not condone thievery, but it's a magazine. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to go without an allowance until Alston returns. Which is when? Who can say? Oh, great. Maybe I could get a job. I'd like to make some money. Oh, to buy clothes with, I suspect. No, a chessboard. To enter chess tournaments. Yeah, to enter chess tournaments. 
and it's five dollars for the entrance fee. The only girls of your age who work are colored. Oh, seriously? I get it's a different time, Dear but like... Dear Mr. Scheibel. What's... Oh, it drives me mad. <laughs> it costs five dollars to enter, and I don't have that. If you will send me the money, I will pay you back ten dollars if I win. Ben, is that you? I seem to have caught a cold. Another one? I have a proclivity for viruses. Or it's because of the smoking, or she's sick. Here you go. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I forgot! Oh my god, I totally forgot! Thomas Brody Sangster's in this! I love him! I love him! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> that was him on the front! I tried oh. oh, shit! Dr. Talbot has decided I need more tranquility. Oh no. Yes, man. I love that cat picture. I mean, I'm sure she's good at chess without them, right? I don't like that. Oh, is she waiting for the the chest to appear on the ceiling? Might not be able to do it anymore though, because she's older now, maybe? Or because that's in the way? Okay, that's in the way, okay. There we go. <laughs> but I wish she didn't have to take drugs in order to do it, you know? Excuse you, Harmon. Fuck you, Margaret. <laughs> This came for you. Oh, is it the money for the tournament? Oh my gosh. Have you joined a club? I'm playing in that chess tournament I told you about. I just wonder whether a dance class wouldn't be better for making friendships. I mean, like, let her do what she wants. Who cares? Oh, it's so frustrating because I know it's like a different time and I get why everyone's acting like that, but like, I hate it. What's your rating? I don't have a rating. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, she's sure. <laughs> she's going to beat everyone. Oh. Who cares? If you're an unrated player, you go on beginners with the people under 1600. That's true, there is a rating system. First prize in the open is 100. Is it against any rule for me to be in the open? Not exactly. Put me in the open. There are three guys in there. <laughs> she, she's gonna be all of them. And Beltic may show up. I can't wait to see her kick everyone's ass. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot Thomas Brady Sangster is in this. That's one of the reasons I wanted to watch it. <laughs> are the masses played at random? Uh, they arrange it by ratings on the first round. I don't understand about chess clocks. After you move, you press that button on top, and it stops your clock and starts your opponent. And you see that little red flag over the number 12 on each clock? Well, yours will fall down when the 90 minutes is up. And if it does that, you've lost. And, um... For recording your moves. Oh, it's touch move. Don't touch a piece unless you're going to move it. If you touch it, you have to move it somewhere. What do I do with this? Is your match over? Yes, I won. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Circle your name and drop it in the basket. Okay. So he's the one to beat, huh? Who are they? Beltic and Cullen. Beltic's a state champion. Yes. I don't know what just happened. I don't know how chess works. <laughs> she could beat him. <laughs> She could be anyone. <laughs> he was thinking he was gonna win and now he's like, let's check. What? You got me. I resign. Harmon? Keep it up, kid. I like him. He seems very encouraging. On, Something's up with her. She's How'd like- How'd you do it, your thing? I won four games. That's nice. She's just sitting watching TV all day. God, there's so much smoke. I would hate that. I'd be like dying. Literally. <laughs> I wonder what this would be like to watch if you actually knew how to play chess really well. <laughs> You're humiliating my rook. <laughs> I won't have to suffer much longer. <laughs> People are paying attention. That's good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Indeed. How old are you? Never mind. Don't answer that. It'll just depress me. <laughs> I'm 36. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we turn in our sheets? What's wrong? Uh, Period. Damn. Yep. Do you, Help her. Do you have something? Please. It's my first time. Do you know how to use it? I think so. I'll wait. Just in case. Well, that's sweet of you. 
She doesn't know how to use it. Thank you. I just thought, thought I was sick. My first time, I threw up. Well, I still do sometimes. Actually, every time. Every time? That's not good. If you're throwing up every time, you should go to a doctor, because that's not good. I've thrown up like once. No, twice. If you're throwing up every time, that's not, that's actually not great. You should, you should see a doctor for that. Hey, Beth, beat him, will you? Oh, she will. <laughs> I'll try. No, you will. <laughs> Oh, but she might be a bit distracted though because of her period. Oh no, that's not fair. Why, 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 why? <laughs> why do women have to go through this? It's an unfair disadvantage. She's gonna be so distracted. You know, guys don't really understand. Like, I, they don't understand, they'll never understand. But it's so hard to focus when you're on your period because you are constantly in pain or constantly feeling nauseous the whole day. It's, it really is like, like for me at least, like, I mean, it depends on the person because, um, depending on the person, it can be worse or not as bad for you individually. But for me, like I feel nauseous the whole time. Every time I get my period, I don't throw up, but I feel nauseous and I get cramps sometimes. And it's literally so hard to function. It feels like I'm basically like sick for a whole week every month because I feel like I can't function properly. You know, because I'm just so, like, I feel so gross. I feel nauseous. I feel like I have cramping. And it's just, like, so annoying. <laughs> like, why? Really? <laughs> is that supposed to be cool? Why is it that every single thing I watch, guys try to be cool and it just so doesn't work? <laughs> that it's, it's still not cool. What are you doing? Is that a tactic? Like, what? was that i've started menstruating i'll need pads go up to my room to the top drawer of my chiffonier and take what you require my tranquility needs to be refurbished i don't know what to think of her like she's confusing to me what what on earth happened oh is was she trying to call alice alice alster what's his name again yikes something wrong yeah, good question. I've received a message from Mr. Wheatley. It seems Mr. Wheatley has been indefinitely detained in the Southwest. I'm just a housewife. More than that, you could- or I was a housewife. Oh. You could be a, 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 an incredible pianist. Like, you got that going for you? <laughs> That's so shitty though. Like, I didn't like him from the beginning and for good reason. Can they send me back? You no longer have a husband. They won't if we lie about it. There you go. We'll lie about it. <laughs> That's easy enough. You're a good soul, Beth. Though I'm no longer a wife, except by a legal fiction, I believe I can learn to be a mother. Good. Good, yes. I believe in you. So that's why the room was trash. That was the call. Like, it, it was re her reaction to the phone call. That makes more sense. Mama. Weird. Close your eyes. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. Extra cup of coffee. Wow, douchebag. She's gonna beat you. I hope she beats you, dude. <laughs> They're not writing stuff down anymore. You got this. I believe in you. Be right back. Huh? Is she gonna take a pill? you you know huh. <laughs> if she gets found out about taking those pills would that be a problem I'm guessing kind of like when sports players take steroids maybe but I don't know I don't I don't know if it like I don't know Son of a bitch. I think that's it. No, I can get out of this. Maybe, if you'd gotten here on time. <laughs> Is this time about to run out? That's what you get, dude. Do you see it now? Or should we finish this on the board? Yes! To win the Kentucky State Championship, Elizabeth Harmon showed a mastery of the game. I'm so proud of her. 
And the hundred dollars. I want to open a bank account. Good idea. But you have to go with me. I just didn't have the faintest idea that people made money playing chess. There's tournaments with much bigger prizes than that. How much bigger? Thousands of dollars. Goodness. So, can we go to the bank today after school? Certainly. Man, I need money. I should learn how to play chess. <laughs> That was a dress I liked too. I would wear that. <laughs> awesome. Ben, will you come down here, please? I've been leafing through this chess magazine. It's very interesting. It says here that there is a tournament in Cincinnati and the first prize is $500. What about school? I could write a medical excuse claiming mono. <laughs> The Greyhound tickets would be eleven eighty a piece, plus the cost of food. Even if you only won second or third prize, there would still be a profit. I'll win. Yeah, she will. <laughs> I have every confidence. Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> Why? I love chess now. I want to play chess. I want to be a chess player. I want to earn money off tournaments. Ah, I love it. Okay, well. That was episodes one and two of The Queen's Gambit. I really enjoyed that. I'm excited to see the where this goes because we started off with the future. Like that, I'm assuming that clip at the very beginning was like the furthest into the future, right? Of the show, but we're kind of, we're going backwards now. So we started when she was young and now we're building back up to that point. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited for Bro Thomas Brody Singster to show up because I totally forgot that he was in this, but now I remember and I am just waiting for that, <laughs> for him to show up now because he's awesome. He's a great actor and I'm excited to see him. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to see where this goes. Um, so if you enjoyed watching, make sure that you subscribe so you can see when I upload the next episode to react to episodes three and four. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Make sure to also leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!